Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, as most of you know, you know, for those of you that had the opportunity that we're here at the men's banquet yesterday, it's always nice when you come back and you sit down and uh, Jordan, who works with the men's program, is a good friend of mine, and he said, wow, you've made some strides in eight years going up there and speaking in front of it, uh, the whole group. So I, I really appreciated that. So times have gotten a little bit better. Uh, the comfort level is definitely much higher, and I appreciate everyone coming out today. Um, you know, I, I do have two people that I, that I want to call out because you all here has a lot to do with them, and that would be two of our past players, Tia Gibbs and Candace Bingham. Tia and Candace, please stand up. You know, it was a, it was a great surprise to see, to, to see these two here. And uh, I, I just want to tell you a little bit about nine years ago, when I first had the opportunity to speak at our tip-off banquet, I, I can go back to when I was hired, and I had the opportunity to meet with Angel McCautry, Tia Gibbs, I mean, Angel McCautry, Patrika Barlow, uh, you had Angel, Candice, uh, uh, the whole group of the players that were here. And the question they asked me was, how are you gonna get us to the Sweet 16? You know, and, and the same thing I told them, I, I can't score. I can't guard anybody. I can't rebound a basketball. What, what are you going to do? <laughs> and, and I know I've told it before, but I will say, you know, there, there were four incoming freshmen that had been signed from the previous staff that I, I remember asking those kids, have you reached out to them yet? Because it, it had been a, a, a week or two since the change what was going to be made, and Tom Collin had gone down to, to Arkansas to be the head coach there. And those kids looked at me and said, no. And I said, that's your problem. You know, when, it, when you start to think of everybody else instead of yourselves is when we're going to make that stride. And I can remember that next day, Patrika Barlow came up to me and said, hey, I called all the freshmen, the incoming freshmen, and they were relieved to hear from somebody on the team. Because not only is it, was it scary for those returning players, but imagine the freshmen that had signed to come here thinking they were going to be coached by a different coach. And, and I knew at that point, okay, we had a chance to do some special things. And I look back and I think, you know, our goal was at that time, only eight seasons ago, was to see if we could make it to a Sweet 16. And now I, I've got a feeling it's a little bit of a disappointment <laughs> from our fans if we, may, if we only make it to a Sweet 16. <laughs> you know, and that's really where, the, where this program is, has, has grown to. And that goes back to Candace and Tia and all the players that we've had here in the past that, you know, just believed in what we've tried to do here. And it's not just to win basketball games, but to change a, a, a culture, to get players to understand they have to play for each other and not be so concerned about me. Don't worry if, I, if I'm going to yell at them, which it's only words of encouragement. <laughs> so it's be concerned. I'm not sure why that was a laugh. I mean... <laughs> Maybe you're sitting too far away, you need to get better seats, and you'd hear that it's encouraging things. <laughs> when they worry about not getting a rebound because they let down their teammates, that's when we know as a coaching staff, we're there. Don't worry that what I'm going to say to you, what your, your coach is going to say, worry that you've let down your teammate. And I know every year when we get to that point, and, and it's something that it goes on each year. It just do it doesn't happen. But when we get there, I know we have a chance to be special. Because that shows me that they care about e e each other. We have a wonderful group of young women that are going to represent all of you. It's been one of the most enjoyable preseasons that I've had. They work hard. They've got great sense of humor. They're willing to take care of each other, which I admire and appreciate. 
Because when times get tough, you only have each other to, to fall back on. And that's what really has stood out to not only me, but my entire staff. So you're going to be excited about this group of young women. And our goal is to make a deep run as it is every year into the NCAA tournament to give you all something to be excited about. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Tom Jurich giving me this opportunity nine seasons ago. And I say it every year, and I, and I mean it. You know, it, it took some courage for Tom to hire me, and I'm not afraid to say it, because this was something I did not do very well. Actually, I was pretty poor at it, and that's speaking in front of people and speaking to the media, and that's part of the job. It's part of you have to be able to go out there and sell your product, sell your university. And, I, and I'm grateful for Tom for giving me that opportunity. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe it's going on year nine, but plan, plan on being here for many, many more, as I like to tell all my friends. When we go, when we go into home, home visits, that's the question, how long are you going to be there? And I always tell them, I'm either going to get fired here or retire here. So preferably it's the second and not the first. <laughs>